Hi Libra! Welcome to your love reading for the month of July. So please only take what applies to your love story and leave the rest behind. If you are guided to this message, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. So luscious Libras, thank you for being here, especially those of you who are subscribed or members of the channel. Thank you for your continued love and support. I'm so grateful for you guys. Um, as you well know, I am a Libra and Cancer rising, so cancer season has been <laughs> it has been okay that's all I'm gonna say <laughs> so since we are still in cancer season we are going to dive deep into the feels in this reading and ask the universe what is going on with your specific person how are they feeling about you and this connection of course anything else that the universe wants to relay to you at this time and stick around to the end so that we can get you some love messages from the 5d as well so before we pull cards just a quick reminder libra please do not force the reading to fit only take what fits for you in the reading okay please reverse roles however they are necessary and if it's not for you this time around we will catch you on the flippity flip speaking of flip here's the first cards out for you libra and of course we're just getting a general overview and seeing what spirit wants you to know about the connection Oh my. So we've got the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Um, so clearly there is a lot of passion and chemistry and sexual sensual energy here. Uh, the Ace of Wands... <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me as I'm like <laughs> throat shock or crack a lacking over here there is a lot of passion and again I think a chance for a passionate new beginning here so this is an opportunity card and perhaps Libra you have been presented with this opportunity for a new start um, a very passionate and exciting one and the knight of swords coming in with that card is basically just speaking the blunt truth, okay? Knight of Swords tells it like it is. They do not let anything or anyone hold them back. They are the ones who will say the craziest thing you never thought that anybody would say. Um, and so Libra, uh, this, it definitely involves communication. So maybe you have communicated with this person recently and had a very revealing conversation or just been honest with one another um, about feelings. Maybe even, again, there was passion still revealed underneath the, the context of the conversation. But Knight of Swords is basically like putting it all on the table, not really taking time to think things through before speaking and just going, right? Going for it. So uh, I like this vibe for you, Libra, because this is you, okay? This Knight of Swords is you. You are very honest. You are very blunt and bold and forthright, and you don't typically hold anything back. So let us dive even deeper and find out more about this new passionate opportunity. How is this person feeling about you and this connection? <clears throat> Oh my goodness, Libra. So we have the moon, okay? <laughs> right along with cancer season. Got the moon over here in my setup. The moon is about emotions and everything underneath the surface, even fears, right? And doubts. Um, but the moon can sometimes even be a little bit illusory, right? And create that smoke and mirrors or that fog that you're seeing here in the picture. So I do feel, Libra, that under the surface, this person is hiding a lot of emotion for you, okay? I do feel that the feelings are there and maybe they're even trying to create this illusion that they don't care that much. Or um, again, maybe their fears are stopping them from truly being open and letting the floodgates of emotion out. All right, we're going to clarify for the moon. Why the moon? Why is this person hiding their feelings for you, Libra? Why is this person hiding their feelings for Libra? What are they afraid of? The Magician in the Reverse. Oh my gosh, you guys. This card has come up in every single reading I've done so far in the reverse position. I mean, you really can't make this up. So obviously, this is a collective energy happening right now. The Magician in the Reverse for me is someone who 
who feels powerless or feels like there's nothing they can do, maybe lacking the resources to make things happen, um, just not feeling very confident in their ability to manifest. So I do think that this person could be kind of creating this illusion that they don't care that much because deep down they don't feel like they have what it takes to manifest this connection with you, okay? So I think this person is really giving into their fears and doubts right now and, um, you know, maybe even lying to them themselves about their their abilities saying oh well I don't have this or that or I'm not good enough or I don't you know have the ability to make this happen you know and this could really be discouraging for them okay so let's get one more clarity card on those two the king of coins so Libra this person underneath it all is a very stable um and and potentially financially stable as well, person, someone very secure, uh, a businessman or business owner, someone very invested in their career. Um, but also the king of coins is someone very kind and grounded, thoughtful, nurturing. So, you know, this person, the sad thing is, is that they have so much to offer Libra, like so much to offer, but they're letting their fears and their doubts and their insecurities stop them from coming through. Okay. So let's ask spirit, how do, how do you make this person feel? How do you make them feel? This could be your actions or anything like that. Things that you've said, okay? Oh my goodness. So we have the Three of Swords and we have the Emperor. Now the Three of Swords popped up in the reverse. So just kind of putting this out there. Maybe there was an element of heartbreak in the past with this person, Libra. Maybe you broke this person's heart or maybe they've had their heart broken. Um, maybe they have dealt with a third party situation. Um, or just in general, this could be sadness over separation. We were talking about how this person feels they may not have the resources to make things happen so for some of you you could be at a distance from this person and you know I do feel that it's it's hurting them okay it's causing them grief and sadness so the emperor coming out with that Libra this person could be your divine masculine okay um, this person could definitely be the type who takes control of their physical environment um, I'm literally, I'm getting like a headache right in my third eye. So I, I also feel that this person is intuitively aware that they are this energy, that that is their role here on earth is to be a, a person of action, someone who takes control of their physical environment, okay? And again, divine masculine energy, we're talking about someone spiritually evolved um, and someone in the know, okay? So this person, it's like they know that they could potentially be your divine counterpart and it's breaking their heart heart to be apart from you okay now are they communicating that to you I don't think so otherwise I don't think you'd be watching this reading Libra but <clears throat> let's dive into that okay let's talk a little bit more about this person's fears what what are they so afraid of the strength card in the reverse. So again, more like insecurity happening here. They don't feel strong enough. They don't feel confident enough. Um, and you know, maybe again, they've dealt with something in the past. Maybe this had to do with you where they felt like they were driven away. You can see, um, you can see Amalfia in her unicorn form and she's pushing the red beast back out into the sea. So, you know, yeah, Libra, maybe you kind of drove this person away in the past and it kind of ruined their confidence. Um, but again, this person is in the know. They know their role here. They know that they need to show up as a divine masculine counterpart. Um, but I think their heartbreak from the past is still sort of affecting them, okay? So let's talk about their desire here. What is their desired outcome with you, Libra? That's a lot, Libs. Oh my gosh. So Libra, <clears throat> excuse me. So first of all, Libra, this is like, you really can't even make this up. There's five cards here, and when I go through them, this is gonna basically confirm everything I said. This person knows that you're 
they're your divine counterpart and it breaks their heart being away from you okay the first card up is their desire is the lovers okay so i mean come on now we've got the lovers this is a divinely guided connection twin flame soulmate also the need to make a choice so i think this person desires that you will choose them Okay, um, and you can see Prince Lear is writing out this letter and it's going to say, I love you. All right. So I think this person desires that you have the same feelings for them, that they weren't just guided to you for another heartbreak. Okay, Libra. We also have the hermit in the reverse. So I feel this person could have Virgo placements or just in general has gone through a major spiritual awakening, uh, received some sort of divine guidance or wisdom from their guides. And they're like, they're desiring to come out of their hermit cave. Maybe this person, <clears throat> we've got the number nine here. Maybe this person's been like single or alone or lonely for the last nine years or whatever, nine months, whatever this is, somebody's ready to come out of that cave. They're ready to emerge. Um, we also have the four of wands, okay, in the upright. So once again, more confirmation. This person desires union. They desire marriage and connection and stability and happiness with you. Um, we've got Miriam and Robin Hood walking through the forest. Um, in, again, if you haven't seen this movie, Libra, The Last Unicorn, you definitely should. It's so, so great. I love it. And uh, and yeah, there's a lot of themes of separation and things like that going on in, in that movie. So clearly this was a projection in the movie, but they use these two as a symbol of union, of partnership, of happiness, like I said. So this person desires union with you. We also have the six of coins. So not just union, but balance and reciprocity. Um, I think that this person Maybe if they have breadcrumbed you in the past or they came across as someone unstable before Libra, um, then this person desires to bring in the balance, okay? They desire to show you that they're ready to give to the connection. And then finally, <clears throat> we have the two of wands, which tells me this person has really been focused on the future with you. They maybe have been at a crossroads for a while, but again, this person knows the direction that they're going and they're planning for the future, okay? So this person is thinking about what the future would be like with you in union married together happy whatever it would look like in your specific situation only you will know but i did just see 12 12 okay so for someone out there you need to look up that angel number <clears throat> as it does apply to um to twin flames and soulmates and things like that okay so anyways you guys that is what this person desires um on the bottom of the deck we have the five of cups so in the past again i do think there was a lot of sadness and regret about the way things transpired but um i think this person is starting to see the the light at the end of the tunnel or the hope in that two of cups you know, maybe there is an opportunity or a chance to begin again with this person and have that passionate new beginning that will result in union, okay? Just because it didn't work out in the past doesn't mean that it won't work out in the future. Sometimes we separate from people only to be drawn back to them later on in life when we're both ready. And you know what, you guys, it's making me think of that Black Mirror episode, Hang the DJ. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but you should definitely watch it. Um, because because that is a theme in that that one episode. It's, you know, this dating service or whatever. I'm not going to ruin the whole plot. But the dating service basically pairs you with a new relationship as soon as you're done with the one that you're in. And each relationship, they give you the time frame of how long you'll be in the relationship right at the beginning of <laughs> the relationship and it tells you like okay we're meeting for the first time let's check the expiry date oh we have 36 hours okay and that's how long the relationship will be then the app pairs you up with your next person and something that they kept saying in the episode is everything happens for a reason so please 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 go watch that black mirror episode black mirror is on netflix if you haven't seen it um please watch at your own risk as some of the black mirror episodes are really messed up and <laughs> completely twisted it's like the twilight zone on crack but anyways that one episode is very specifically um related to this this sort of thing here okay um and again it's called hang the dj so anyways, you guys, obviously there was a lot of past regret here, maybe a missed opportunity with this person's sadness, depression, grief, separation, but spirit is saying there is still hope, okay? What is the advice overall here? 
luminosity interesting so i see this as a divine feminine energy so libra this is definitely advice for you okay um luminosity is a reminder to stay high vibing okay stay in your empress vibes stay giving off the energy that you wish to receive and this all starts from within so notice how the light is coming from within her and shining outward so just continue to be your bubbly bright beautiful self okay but also at the same time don't um don't forget to be fair okay to yourself and to everyone involved obviously I shouldn't have to remind you of that as Libra is all about fairness and balance but this luminosity comes from within so continue to shine that light outward um, and you will attract this person back into your environment okay um, so don't allow you know maybe if you're not talking to this person right now or again if they're trying to create some sort of illusion that they're not into you that they don't care about you um, just just know that that is just a temporary thing okay Okay, this person needs to work through their own insecurities and what better way for them to do that than by continuing to look at you and you are still shining so this reminds me of the july monthly forecast reading too where the empress pops out and it's all about continuing to shine so the divine masculine can find their way home okay so continue to be yourself continue to shine continue to put that loving and um, kind energy out into the universe and this person will not be able to help themselves but be attracted like a moth to a flame okay so let's get some messages from the 5d and see what this person would like to say to you libra that's a lot so we've got being apart from you made me realize how important you are to me I have felt so lost without you so who knows you know maybe even being apart from you has kind of worn down this person's confidence you could potentially be the light that has given this person confidence and being away from you made them realize just how much of that energy came from you Libra we also have you are the star oh okay you are the star of every single one of my fantasies it's not zooming in probably because youtube's already pre getting ready to strike this video <laughs> Uh, you are the star of every single one of my fantasies. The thought of touching and kissing you is enough to drive me crazy. So this person definitely wants to um, take advantage of that opportunity that we saw at the beginning, right? The Ace of Wands. I mentioned sexual, sensual energy. Um, and again, the mention of the star is basically like acknowledging this person knows you're their wish come true, okay? I love everything about you even all of the messy parts. So Libra, you know, you can't be perfect all the time, right? But this person loves you even in your imperfections. We also have, I am so terrified of losing you. I pray that it's not too late to fix this. So that could also be playing into this person's fears, right? Especially if in the past you um, drove this person away or you kind of, you know, you kind of took away that light uh, um, symbolically from them or you put them in that situation where they were heartbroken over you um, they don't want to lose you again okay and and they want to make sure they can fix this so that you can continue in in happiness okay I'm working hard to release my old karmic debts it's not an easy process but I can't move forward until I clear things up so this person could still have some loose ends that they need to tie up which is totally normal um, but you know again you want to make sure that they they are able to do that those ends could just simply be your person having to rediscover their confidence okay um and then also I miss looking into your eyes and seeing you smile. I love how we connect without saying a single word. So clearly there is a very special connection that you have with this person um, and it's not going to go away Libra and, and they're not going to go away either. I think that right now, especially with Venus retrograde and all of the other retrogrades going on, that could be what's causing this feeling of doubt and, uh, and fear to kind of rise up and take over. Okay. Okay. 
So again, just continue to keep shining and showing this person what confidence looks like so that they have an example um, and they can come to you when they're ready, okay? So hopefully this resonated with you Libras out there. Of course, if it did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you would like a more personalized reading, you can always book one with me down in the description box below. Other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of Cancer season. I love you and I will see you again soon. Bye.